Um, please tell us a little bit how much um, energy is the drying oven consuming? Uh, typical drying oven, as we have looked at, made for two meters per minute. Mm -hmm. It takes, when we have no production, it takes about uh, 40, 45 kilowatts just to keep the oven heat, heated. And then we have to add motors, about 25 kilowatts. But at the moment you start the conveyor and you have a flow of maybe of 2,000 kilos steel per hour, the consumption will increase with about 20, 25 kilowatts. Mm. So we're talking about idle consumption and consumption during production. Production, yes. Yeah. Um, what is the correct temperature in a, cure, uh, in a drying oven and why, why is it a, a, a normalization of the, the temperature? There is no correct temperature in a drying, but we need a temperature for, to dry the objects. Mm. And why do we heat the oven and the air? Hot air can keep more water in itself. And what we do in a convection dryer is to circulate hot air, hot dry air, over the surface of the objects. And the air will absorb humidity, water from the surface. Mm -hmm. That's the only reason why we heat mm -hmm. in the, normally. Mm -hmm. But we can't continue that way because sooner or later the, the, the air should be too wet. So we have to exchange the air in the oven. So therefore we have an exhaust, exhaust air fan to do this. Mm -hmm. 120 degrees is more or less a goal for many designers, that we should keep 120 degrees or less. Sometimes it's possible, depending on the objects. Something just... But many lines have a, a drying oven where the temperature is far over 120 degrees. Why is it like looking like this in the, in the branch? Mm -hmm. The most common reason is that they have increased the conveyor speed. But it can also depend on bad maintenance of an oven. Maybe the circulation has decreased. Maybe we don't ventilate the oven good enough. So it's a combination of reasons. But it's very easy to raise the temperature, higher the temperature. Mm. Yeah, and that we see. And we see the coaters increase the temperature far away over 120 degrees sometimes um, to compensate for the increased speed or the lack of time in the oven. Uh, is that also what, what your experience are? Yes, I've seen it too many times. Mm. And sometimes I ask myself, why don't they fix the oven? Yeah. yeah. Or do something. Mm. But when they do this, they must increase the energy consumption as well. Oh, sure. For a small dryer, as we talked about, it's about uh, 20 kilowatts extra mm. to raise from 200 to, to, from 120 to 140 degrees. I'm sorry. Mm. And maybe 20 kilowatt doesn't sound so much, but it is 20 kilowatt every hour, every day, every week, every month, every year for about 20 years, yes. which is the lifetime of the coating line. Well, that would cost money. And that costs a lot yeah, of yeah, money, I would exactly. say. Absolutely. Anders, with your expertise, do you have any uh, tips of how to lower the energy consumption in a drying oven? This is the first tip is to lower the temperature. Mm. And then you have, must maintain the oven. You must fix the circulation and fix the evacuation or exhaust ventilation. And maybe you could look at the hanging, the way of hanging products. With a dense hanging, you can lower the, the conveyor speed. Mm. And that's the best way mm. and the easiest way. Mm. So more items through the oven per uh, time unit and as on, on a low, lower speed, so to speak. Exactly. Yeah. You, sh you shouldn't calculate with the energy cost per hour. You should calculate with the energy cost per item mm. produced.